Hello there, Shane Rox here. Welcome back to RimWorld. So what have we got going on? So we've had a little bit of the, uh, the running in the last video with the uh, invaders coming. Uh, that reminds me to deconstruct that wall again. Um, we need to... The colonists need treatment. Me! You need treatments. Let's go and get you some rest. Uh, Anne's doing all the... Uh, let's see, NG, have you got any injuries? Nope. You're good to go. Might uh, deconstruct this and put another bed in here. So let's have a little look. Got some hair leather. Do a cloth bed. There we go. I mean, Pyra does need their own bedroom. So that's going to be in one of these rooms. Once that gets sorted out. So nice. Me has just got healed. Okay, so, yeah, here's my disastrous uh, base building attempt here. That's, yeah, let's step away from that. So, we're trying to recruit all those three. So, I think we're going to need to rapidly get all this expanded. So, let's do another 4x4 four four until they complain and say the rooms are too small. So, we get on. An awful lot of work for these to do at the moment. We're probably going to need some more um, graves built. Let's uh, allow all these. Steel longsword, nice. Be nice to have something that's not wood for a change. Okay, we're going to need some more graves. Let's do some mass graves over here. Do another row of eight. Actually, that's ten. I can't count. We're gonna gonna strip these as well, just in case they've got any decent gear. And what have you got? Devil strands. That's the trouble with the clothes. The um, they've got devil strand, but it's really poor quality. Okay, you're making backpacks, I believe. Yes, that prison looks really small, doesn't it? Okay, nice. We've made that SFX anyway. That's that's cool. Um, we just need to step up our game with our chef because we need a chef of level 10, which is something we, we're struggling on. Um, I mean, I could have one of these other ones that are interested in it, chef, but you're only a skill level 6 and you're level 4. Um, you're not really doing anything, but... So you're our vo the uh, pacifist. Not a pacifist, you're... Um, incapable of violence so we could have you cook stuff uh, the trouble is we st we've still not got anything for cook to cool stuff properly um i have got i can do the granite uh chimney which will cool it down a little bit in fact let's go and stick one of those in here um stick that in there now i could do vents hmm now, if I if I put a vent on all of these, is that gonna how's that gonna affect, say, for instance, cooling? Let's see how that works. Okay, I can't I can't put that anywhere along there. Well, that's weird. Why can I not place it there? Is it because there's no items in that space? Well, that's weird. Don't know why it won't let me place that. How bizarre. Right. Speed up a little bit. Still lots of hauling to be done here. All that's getting constructed now though at least. Marriage is on. Oh, what? Grim has accepted Anne <laughs> Anna's marriage proposal. Okay, so I guess we need to go and put a marriage spot down. I was just looking at that and thinking to myself, Ooh, I've never used that before. Oh, Grim, what are you doing? Your life's over for you, buddy. I'm a bit worried how many people we've got in that room at the moment. We probably need to actually put another uh, chair in there, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> that is the smallest table ever. <laughs> I, 
I didn't plan on having that many uh, people in that prison. Okay, what's dropped? Cobra skin. Whoa, yeah. I'm going to need a lot more um, graves. So there's four there. Yeah. We're going to gonna need a hauler. Got any haulers? Not at the moment we haven't. I mean, the hauler I'm guessing looking at this should be Anna. But well, Anna is just tucked up away in bed. I think she should go and uh, bury some of these corpses. There we go. Here's the visitors. And visitors are going to think we're terrible guests. Leaving bodies everywhere. There we go. Nice. That's getting rid of all the bodies anyway. Another one left after this. Let's go and uh, let's go and have a little look at this and see who's who's going to be a good handler. So we want someone with a high handling skill. So I reckon me. Yeah, me. Me. Where are you? Um, me the ninja. Go on, ninja your way over here. Talk to Christian. See what's what. See if we can do some sweet ass trades. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. I think I need to have a little little sip of my drink here. The excitement. Of well, look how much elephant skin we've got though. It's so much. Right. Um, so as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff here we've been producing. Things like steel. Um, we've only got 100 steel at the moment. Got plenty of hops. Got so much cotton. I mean, that's if I, if I get rid of all of that, I'm going to get 660 back for it. Which is pretty... What sort, I don't know what sort of math that is. 0 0.11 times by 660. Huh? How much is... What? That doesn't even make sense. No, 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 no. Right, get rid of that. Cotton. Cotton fibre. So one... One unit. Is that not updating the totals? Ah, uh, okay. Right, so we can buy loads of... Uh, look at all these animals we can buy off them. Yeah. Ooh, Yorkshire Terriers, hens... Now that might be that might be quite good to get. I could get a hen and a rooster. They're pretty cheap. Let's get one of those for each of them. Let's get let's get the older one. Let's get a hen and let's get a rooster. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get some uh, egg production going. Um we don't really want a lot of this meat and stuff like that. Um In fact, I could get rid of some of the stuff. Uh, but I am tempted to keep all my resources. I want to make some fancy-ass pants and stuff. So let's just get our... Uh, let's get our animals. And let's see. We're going to need like a little corral type of thing for the animals. Because if I don't put them in like a, a corral or something, it will literally will just go wrong. They will just... Um, wander off and die. Um, now, I was thinking I was going to do uh, a wooden fence. Is that worthwhile or not? Right, let's do furniture and we'll do... We'll just do a couple of sleeping spots outside here. Okay, and then we're going to get our animals. We're going to restrict them to the home environment. Uh, I've not set up a uh, animal area. Actually, how do you do an animal zone area? I'll have to look into that. So hopefully the uh, animals are going to stay in this area. I don't know what they're doing. That's not really good to be hanging around in there. <laughs> Believe me, it's not. Okay, nice. We've managed to... Uh... We've su success successfully recruited Legua. Okay, Legua, show us your goods. So you're a 26 year old female colonist. Um, you're neurotic. You don't like men. You're lazy. 
and it does look like you're particularly not really good at anything. You're okay at mining. So you know what? Let's make you a miner. Um, have we got any smive tools we have? Right, have that. And get mining. Nice. Oh, she's like a machine. Look at her go. Nice. Now I'm going to smarten up, um, I was just thinking I might smarten up the, um, the prison a little bit, so let us see. What can I put in here that's going to make it all look fancy? Um, not really. I mean, I could put a plant pot in there. Uh, let's have a little look. Let's have a marble plant pot. Yeah. That's going to be good. Now, I want these small sculpts. I want someone to start making sculptured stuff a lot quicker as well. We've not actually got a dedicated sculptor, I don't believe. Let's have a look. I want, I'm trying to click on it with someone that's not got the ability to do it. No, you can all do it. Oh, come on. Must be someone that's not got the skill. I can't, I can't remember if it's crafting. Oh, come on. I think it's crafting. I think it is. It's gotta be. Um, it's either crafting or art. I would have thought it was art, though. It's gotta be art, surely. Surely art is for making the sculptures. But right, your level, you seem to be like our best artist. You're level six. And that is Lucas. I think Lucas is a bit of a jack of all trades at the moment. Um, so you're our grower. We're pretty stacked up on growing at the moment. So let's bump all this down a little bit for you. You're a hunter. Ah, there we go. That's why. That's why I was thinking of Lucas. In fact, let us go ahead to Lucas. Nice. He's straight away, he's, he's making it. Oh, we've got another recruit, Val. Now, if you've played a lot of RimWorld, you notice the uh, na a lot of these names uh, seem to tend to recycle an awful lot. Val has gone straight away into cooking. She's only cooking level four. Really good at shooting and okay at research. Um... So let's have a little look. Let's let's reset. Let's put you on number one firefight. You don't don't want to be a doctor. You're pretty pants at that. Um, I'm actually let let's um. Surely this is a, an essential thing. Go to medical bed for treatment if you have an immediate life. Surely that's that should be on one for all of them. I would have thought. Right, and speaking of which, that needs to be a medical bed. Um, let's go back to this. So, you're not a very good handler. You're eight. Well, you're eight. You're not amazing. Um, I've got my number one warden there who's skill level 12. So, take the pressure off some of these. Um, yeah. But you're our researcher, which is probably why I did me as a number one in that one. Because you've got a double burning skill in that. So, Cook, no. You've got a slight interest in it. Let's put it as a four. Um, I want these to get... I want to get a proper production thing going. So, let us have... You're not very good at crafting at the moment. You're pretty... Not really good. I'd like a dedicated smiver and a dedicated... Um, what's the other one thinking of? A uh, dedicated smiver and a dedicated uh, tailor eventually. So have we got any bills queued up on this? We've not, so let's pause that. So... I'm thinking of defences. Now... Don't believe I've actually given anyone a flintlock rifle yet. 
Let's go and check. I know I made one before. Yeah, we've got one there. If you look there. And ammo wise, we've got 100 musket balls in there as well. Nice. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make another one of those bad boys. Just we've got a couple of them, basically. Okay. Oh, nice. That little sculpture is finished. Now, I always like reading these. If you go to the information on them, they are really funny. So, um, this one that's been made is poor quality, and it's a torso-sized piece of material sculpted into artistic form. Okay, so this one says, It bears a representative of a crag. The unbalanced structure of the image almost conflicts with its purest style. The smiling head of a cowboy watches over all. Wow, that's just... That's, oh, that's just beautiful. That's making me fill up. Um, so we're making backpacks, we're making bandages. We've got some sculptures on the go to sell to the visitors. Uh, you're making our delightful wooden... Well, marble, in fact. Plant pot. Nice. And it is a regular hive of activity at the moment. In fact, let's go make... Ooh. That sounded like... Yeah. Kimmy, uh, Kimmy, are you hunting with... Yes, you are. Oops. So, Kimmy is actually hunting <laughs> with the, um... The assault rifle there. Uh, let's go and let her dump that body and then we're going to go and change. We're going to change her outfit. So, Kimmy. Okay. Now, I know I messed around with the loadout before on this. So, let's try and get Kimmy to have the great bow. Let's keep an eye on her and see if she does it. Okay, so she's getting rid of the assault rifle. That's good. And she's going to do more colony work. What is going on? Another recruit, Redfields. Redfields, welcome to the group. We're rapidly running out of bedrooms here. So I pretty much find it easy to look on here for the uh, stats for these. So Redfields, actually, if we'll go to this. Redfields is 15 years old. Ah, bless. He's really good at shooting. He's a hunter of the king. Okay, Redfield was forced to protect his colony in the name of the king after a mysterious outbreak of murderous genetically modified wildlife. Despite his best efforts, his kingdom was destroyed. Redfield develops post-traumatic stress disorder, a hatred of animals, and a bad case of technophobia. He was named for the place he found him. Okay, so he's a fast walker, he's a nudist, and he's a hard worker, incapable of intellectual, animals, artistic, or plant work. Great, you're going to fit right in. So, we've not really got cleaner at the moment but we're looking quite spick and span at the moment so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and leave that now but you're really good at hunting so yeah welcome to the hunting party um doctoring i mean even you you're pretty good at doctoring um let's have a look i've not really got that many dedicated flickers at the moment power because we're not really got power so, the thing at the moment we're still struggling with is hauling. So, let us make you a hauler, number one. Okay. Let's see if you go ahead and do that. So, you're hauling. Oh, who's hunting? So that is so dangerous, hunting. You're hunting. You're hunting, essentially, near... <laughs> I wonder where these are. That could go so wrong. Right, let's untarget that. Right, and then let's... Let's equip you and undraft you. Go and do it somewhere else. Okay. I want to check out the arrows, because... I want to see where Val's dumping his arrows, because how many stone arrows have we actually got? Ooh, we've got, ooh, got quite a few arrows there, actually, by the look of it. Now, let's go back and check our 
outfits. So before we said, I believe it was, was it Kimmy? Did we say to Kimmy, get the, the bow? And you've not done. So you've got a single great arrow. And so are you telling me there's no more great bows? You know what? There isn't. How have we not got any more great bows? Okay then. Well, you know what we need to do. We need to go and uh, let's make some more great bows. Okay. Great bow. Why not got great bow on there? Right. Let's add a bill. All right. Let's uh. Let's delete some of these. I think I've still got a recurring thing going on here. Is it my manager? I've got a bit, bit of a production thing going on. I'm making great arrows out of wood. I mean, that's fine. I don't know why bills for making plasteel arrows keeps popping up. Right. Make a great bow and let's make, say, three of them. Okay, the bedrooms are getting made down here. Now we've got loads of elephant hides, so let's get some elephant beds down here. Elephant skin. Okay, your ink. Your ink. Um, we want structure. What door? Door. Right, I can actually, I believe I can make paper now. Yeah, that was textiles and wood. So, I want to know these materials. So, I'm guessing it's is it the cloth we're short of. Oh, we have actually made some paper. Holy guacamole! I didn't even realise we'd actually made any. So, I should really start making uh, making books. So, to make a book, we need a blank book. So, how the heck do we make a blank book? Miss clicks. Bind book, write book, write reference book, collate book. Why do all these bills sound like exactly the same thing? Cannot write. Okay. So, write reference book, bind book. Do you have to bind a book? Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. It's not an artist. Okay, then. So, who is an artist? Who's an artist? that isn't really doing anything that important because you've got a new mission in life. Actually, you. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas the Hunter. Okay, cool. So you can actually write at that. Let's go and stick you a little... Uh, let's stick you a nice little... nice little wooden stool down for you. Keep an eye on Lucas and see if he does go and do that. Okay. How's our defences looking now? That's sort of sort of getting built up now. Uh, we do need to sort of give them a little prod. Because there's holes in that. And also the fact that there's a lot of... I don't like the way that these, uh, these things up here are putting normal weapons in like that. Well, not normal weapons, like arrows. I really don't see the point of that. Do a few more of these ammo things. Maybe it'll clear up some of these arrows that are lashed everywhere. Okay, we're going to want to hunt another animal as well at some point, so let's do that. Nice. Go on. Give me nom nom. Actually, that looks like... When, when did we kill the warg? Oh, <laughs> this, it looks like it's had a, an unfortunate run-in with a grizzly bear. Ouch, that looks painful. Now, I was thinking about this grill. Have I actually got any new recipes yet for this grill? I could do fine meals. Let's make, I'm going to make a single fine meal and give that the highest priority. I just want to see if I can actually do like, I know in the past I've done things where you make, 
say for instance uh, like jerky and stuff like that so I want to see if I can do something like that okay who's in a poor mood as well NG so in darkness lacks a bionic body part we're in tattered apparel hot bonded animal died and hideous environment okay so darkness there's not really an awful lot i can do at the moment because we've not got um lights and stuff uh i could i guess i could go ahead and put um a light in here i believe i've got windows yeah i've got granite windows i've got marble windows or I've got sandstone windows but yet again we've got a shortage of steel um Let's see if I stick a couple of things in there if that improves the light situation. Now, clothes wise, at the moment you're wearing steel armor vest, cloth jacket, backpack. Okay, so let's let's queue up some clothes on here. So let's make a couple more pants. And you seem to quite he's got a jacket on, so let's make a jacket. Okay. Making some Muffalo leather pants. Oh, NG. I think they'll fit you lovely. Some nice leather pants. Gonna be pretty swag. Come on, let's see if he takes some. Is he gonna? Oh, come on. Research finished electricity. Yes. I can now make electric generators, electric lighting, and electric heaters. Okay, nice. Uh, okay. So let's go and check it out. So, power beautiful i can now do power conductors so um we're gonna need a lot more steel so let's zoom right out there we go let's deconstruct all those get a little bump in our power and i think it may be time to start planning the um the corpse generator now can we do batteries just yet no, we can't. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. There's not an awful lot of stuff I need that uses uh, power at the moment. I mean, I've got things like ceiling light. Um, but other than that, there's not too much. Security-wise, still not got an awful lot for that just yet. Um, we've got a refrigerated hopper now. I mean, I suppose we could build one of those. The intro with a hopper, I think it's you're only gonna basically get one stack of items in it. Um mm, just thinking about cooling. I mean I think a heater. Can a heater do negative temperature? That might be something that's worth a uh, while investigating. So let's um let's plan we're going to do this so this corpse thing now i keep dumping all my corpses sort of over here at the moment so i think let's do our generator of shame let's stick it in a room down here okay i don't know how big we need the room but that'll do okay nice now it looks like we're jigging all the ammo and stuff around there into the uh, boxes nice Looks like all the stuff's finally getting hauled and picked up now. Okay, who's in the mood? NG still. Did you put those new pants on NG? Okay, so you've still got the synth thread pants on, so we're going to need you a new jacket. Uh, I don't believe we can make steel armor vests. No. I can make tactical vests, though. What does a tactical vest actually do, though, I wonder? We'll just make one and see how we get on with that. Okay, we're getting all sorts of sweet, nice sweet sculptures and stuff made now as well. Ooh, interesting. Limestone framed wall. Uh, okay, then. That's... Uh 
as a precaution, put a, a door over here. I'm a bit worried about that. Okay, um, try and dig into that. I'm just thinking, I hope there's nothing terrible behind that. Not give me a warning of an ancient danger there. Okay. We should be good to uh, deconstruct that. How bizarre. Move that from there. Okay. So, mine it out a little bit. Let's put our, our generator in here. I don't think we've got enough uh, steel to actually uh, build that anyway, just at the moment. We've got a nice little bit of steel over here though, so let's, uh, let's dig into that. Okay, I think, voila, that's it for that episode. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you, hope you enjoyed watching this. There's a nice little, nice little lull at the moment. It's always kind of worrying when you're playing this game. You think, what are they going to throw, throw you next? So, uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. I'm sure the rocks. This is Rimworld, and I shall see you next time.